Good morning, YouTube. I'm here with the Eddie Horvath morning, and Marky. John the Turtle. Good morning, John. And um, first of all, I would like to start out by thanking all of our 45,400 subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, I did a video on Friday Eve to show you the controls and how the actual mill works. And a lot of nice comments. Thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to do the camera in, in the cab like that because there's too much glare. The plexiglass is beyond, you can hardly see out of it. So you see what I see now. Um, so we are one week away from Halloween. I yep. have a project coming up in the shop for Halloween. Um, and the one clue I'll give you is eventually everybody will need one. And that's the only clue I'm giving you. And I'll put it on, hopefully I can air it next week. I've got to finish filming it and it's turning out really nice. It'd be worth watching. Yeah. Guess what I found out this morning. What's that, Mark? John talks. Ah, can't happen, it's a piece of wood. Well, all right, let me just see. I don't know if he'll talk on camera. Hi, John, you wanna say anything? Hello, two YouTubers. It is no, it's, two nights. No, it's morning, John. It's a little bit dark out because it's raining. Uh, Anything else you'd like to tell everybody? Uh, anything new with your channel? But anyhow, I made it to 8,000, which was kind of a goal I had by the end of October. Wow. And uh, it looks like wow. it was, this morning 8, it was 8,001. 8,000. Wow. Congratulations, well, congratulations John. John. Good job. And uh, <laughs> I'm glad everybody had went over to his channel and checked him out and people from his channel check us out. And that's the way it all works. Yes. Um, I hear it's someone's birthday. It is, and I told her I wouldn't forget my granddaughter, eight years old. Eight years old. That just seems like yesterday. Yes, happy birthday. She was just born. Gabrielle, and I call her Pookie. <laughs> I didn't know her real name. <laughs> Gabrielle, <laughs> okay. beautiful name. Yeah, she's a cute little girl. And happy birthday, Gabrielle. And what are we doing today? We're going to cut some big blocking. Big blocking. Big blocking. He want to bring... Uh, he wants to bring uh, 100,000 pounds up over him. So. Oh, okay. This is for uh, in their, their Yeah, he's got garage. 50 ton coming up on him. So oh, yeah. We yeah. got to make sure they're big enough. I think our, we have uh, two 8 by, no, 8 by 10s, and then we got some 10 by 12s. And they want it out of hardwood, which we'll try to get out of oak. So, you know what? We're not getting nothing done by sitting here. No, let's go, let's get, go it get it done. I'm stuck. <laughs> All righty, let's get this show started. And today we're cutting oak. Back to hardwood here. I'm just trying to get a couple things organized here. And you got to see on Thursday, Friday Eve that is, you got to see what's involved on sawing. So with that little education, now you know what's going on in here. We got to make a bunch of blocking and we need some uh, one by threes and one by ones for a galvanizing plant. I don't know what they're doing with them, but anyhow, whatever they're doing with them, they're buying them from us, so we don't really care. There we go. And I got to get an eight by ten out of this in the middle. Now we're going to cut them in four foot pieces. Oh, that looks like a decent place to open it. So we want to get up, out, and dog her down. And I don't think the master dog's going to have to go to work today, people. And we'll get Mr. Laser involved here. Take a little bit off of that. I just want to get a nice face. The one by threes we're going to cut. We only need eight foot. It's going to be some nice firewood anyway. 
right, do I cut four quarter or do I cut one? Ah, here's the choice. Ah, let me think here for a second. I'm just gonna take it off uh, in four quarter, which is inch and eight. That gives us more options. We got a little taper going on. That thing uh, must have slid on me a little bit, but oh well. We're all right. Let's put it back to the knees and get it down to 10 inches. I'm going to take it down to 10 inches right now. These are little small logs, so they're not good for much. But they're going to work for this. Okay, there's our 10. get the bark. Eddie's on the scene. These logs just came into the yard actually. They're new to us. But this had a blight. Again, these, these logs are coming down for a reason. They're not just cutting these down for the fun of it. That's actually a pretty looking board there. big chunk of wood there guys all right I'm gonna go out and help them with the chainsaw here so we'll give you a little bit of view of what we gotta do we gotta cut a four foot long
walking it up to length. back the knees up a little bit. Make sure we got a good hold on her and let's just open her up. I'll get less distance out of this side so I'm going to try to take this one to eight. We could get away with a little bit of weighing in it. I'm going to turn it to the knees and just see how that other side cleans up before I take any more off. Again, you can't put it back. At least I don't think you can. i got to go back a little bit. That other arm's messing me up again. Get 10 it looks like. I'm just gonna all oh, this back this up just a just a hair, then we'll go forward again. 
there we go, there's our 10. You see how that front of that log is down, it's almost touching the belt. Before we take it down eight inches, you'll see what we're going to do here in a minute. Let's see if I can go ten this way. Take this down to eight. So we're going to take a board off each side. Basically, they work on heavy equipment and they use this for blocking machines and. Uh, they want strength, not pretty. He likes straight logs for his processor. Alright, we're going to cut them to length and we'll talk to you here in a bit. Alright, our last log I'm going to cut is it's actually spalted maple. It ought to be pretty. So I figured I'd fire the camera back up. This is going to be one of them tricky ones to get loaded, right? Because it went on the deck a little bit. Can't take walk by. That is slippery. See the way that thing just slid? I think that's as good a place as any to open it. We're going to cut the center of this log down to, I think, a 10 by 12. Unless it shows me something very spectacular. Not sure. Let's open it up. It's like Christmas. And that is one hard log there. That is rock maple. I'm going to cut that into our uh, inch and eighth boards, which is our four quarter. Yeah, you want to saw this fairly slow. You don't want to stick the saw. It's not as spalted as I thought it would be. It does have some staining in it, though. All right, let's take one more off. 
gives me enough room to get down to a 12 inch target on the other side. This is almost dried out, I mean. All right, let's roll her down. See the top part of the dogs have grabbed it. And that's all that you need. Alright, let's get back to the laser. stuff hanging on the windows there. And that's close enough to 12 for me. And we only have to be 10 inches wide so we can trim. Hey look who's on John's over there. Look. He climbed up on the belt guard. I'll be darned. Let's that is one slippery little log there. Yeah, let's that looks like a nice cut there. And these boards might end up in my shop make something nice out of it. And we'll square it up a little bit more and then all we need to do is go down to 10 on the other side. We'll have a nice block of wood. Got a little blue stain in it. That'll finish up real nice. I'm not a big fan of working with maple. Maple's very hard on your tools. It likes to tear out a lot. Here, take that. All right, let's open this up. Take her down to 10 inches. get one more board out of that it looks like perfect look at that right on 10 who needs a computer when you got good luck Okay, we're gonna let everybody go here because we got to get the chainsaw back out and all that nonsense. So we'll let you go here. We'll talk to you in the end. All right, there it is. The blocking order is complete, and uh, takes a little time fooling around like that. And then we got uh, what 29 of them uh, strips made, and that that's just heavy stuff. No matter how you how you slice it and uh i don't know if anybody noticed i, I pointed out in that last log uh, john he's watching me saw so he's trying to figure out uh how he can convert that uh manual mill into an automatic i think that's what he's trying to do i think he's up to something yeah he's uh you can't really trust that turtle you know no. 
he's uh he's he's something else information comes slow and then when he started talking that that just that's the icing on the that cake, ain't right i don't know if our if our turtles will ever start talking i don't know yeah he put name <laughs> tags on us by the way oh yeah. yeah yeah so we've been named um so now we have john the talking turtle so yeah. and the voice does sound like him yeah that's let's see yeah. what happens yeah we'll see what happens there but uh maybe he'll say a few things now and then and uh it'd just be interesting so. yeah. <laughs> hope everybody enjoyed this video and thanks for subscribing to our channel please subscribe to our channel and if you don't like this send it to somebody you don't like just to annoy them it'll piss them off yeah <laughs> all righty have a great week we'll talk to you later thank you bye-bye